Welcome to the Software Ideas Modeler channel. Today, I'm excited to show you how to create a UML communication diagram. Let's dive right in. First, switch to the Project tab in the ribbon and click on the Add New Diagram button. In the New Diagram dialog, choose the category for UML diagrams and select the Communication Diagram item. Enter the name for the new diagram into the Name text box. Let's name it E-commerce Checkout. Click on the OK button. Now, a new diagram is added to the project and the empty canvas is ready for us to draw our diagram. Let's start with the actor. Drag the actor button from the toolbox to the diagram editor canvas. We'll name it customer. Next, we add objects to our diagram. Drag the object button from the toolbox and drop it onto the canvas. Name this object shopping cart. Enter the name after the colon to indicate it's a generic object type, not a specific instance. Repeat this process to add payment gateway and inventory system. Now we need to show how these objects communicate. Select the message tool from the toolbox. Hold the button a little longer to lock it in place so you don't have to reselect it after each connection. Connect customer to shopping cart, shopping cart to payment gateway, and inventory system to shopping cart. Next, let's add the individual process steps. Select the message connector between customer and shopping cart. Click on the Add Sequence Expression button in the context bar and name the step 1, Add Item to Cart. Click again and name the next step 2, Place Order. Now select the connector between shopping cart and payment gateway and add a new step the same way. Name it 2.1 Checkout. Since it's a sub-step in the current procedure, we number it 2.1, not 3. Next, we add a step back to the cart. Click on the Add Reverse Sequence Expression button in the context bar. Name the step 2.2 Process Payment with the parameter Payment Details in parentheses. This indicates that payment details are being sent back to the shopping cart. Add another reverse step called 2.3 Payment Confirmation. Now, let's move to the message connector between shopping cart and inventory system. Add a reverse step called 2.4 Update Inventory with order details as a parameter. Add a step back to the shopping cart by clicking on the Add Sequence Expression button. Name this step 2.5 Inventory Update Confirmation. Finally, the last step leads from shopping cart back to the customer. Click on the Add Reverse Sequence Expression button and name the step 2.6 Order Confirmation. And that's it. Our simple UML communication diagram is complete. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Happy modeling.